According to Elizabeth Shue, Amy Robach's ex-husband Andrew Shue's family has spoken out about their divorce and T.J. Holmes affair. Following their divorce from the former GMA3 anchor, Andrew Shue and Amy Robach are receiving support from their families, and now Elizabeth Shue has provided an update on how her brother is doing. The Back to the Future actress has spoken out more than six months after Amy's affair with her co-host T.J. Holmes was made public. At the Thursday Tribeca Festival premiere of her most recent film, The Good Half, the 59-year-old said of her co-star, he is awesome, according to Page Six. He is faring really well. Prior to their divorce, the couple had been married for 12 years, during which time TJ had been dating Marilee Feigbig, his ex-wife. Her news comes as Amy and TJ's romance intensifies as they were seen sharing a passionate kiss in public in New York City. Due to their affair, the two lost their employment at ABC, and it is now unknown whether or when they will return to television. On January 27, an ABC official issued a statement announcing Amy and Said, TJ we all agreed it's departure. best for everyone that they move on from ABC News after several fruitful conversations with Amy Robach and TJ. Holmes about different options. The statement continued, We appreciate their contributions and respect their ability and dedication over the years. Later, a decision regarding new GMA3 and 20 over 20 co-hosts will be made. The successors for Amy and TJ on GMA3 have just been revealed. Eva Pilgrim and DeMarco Morgan will replace Amy and TJ, with regular co-anchor Dr. Jennifer Ashton, according to ABC. President Kim Godwin delivered the information to the ABC News staff via an official memo, bringing stability to the network's programming. The 56-year-old Andrew, who is currently unmarried, has three sons from his previous marriage to Jennifer Hagany, to whom he was wed from 1994 until 2009, the same year Amy and Tim McIntosh separated, and a year before the two of them later got married. His oldest son is Nate, born in 1996, and his other children are Aiden, born in 1999, and Wyatt, born in 2004, Ava, born in 2002, and Annalise, born in 2006, are their ex-stepsisters. Elizabeth, who is married to filmmaker, producer, and writer Davis Guggenheim, an article for TheRoot.com, well. TJ, extolled the virtues of his wife and daughter. Since we met, my family and I are closer, and my personal net worth has increased every year, he wrote. Because I'm married, I'm better off in every aspect. So, for me, the key to a happy marriage has been, I like who I am with her. Similar remarks were made in a social media post that he later shared in honor of their 10th wedding anniversary. He captioned the two lovely photos of her, one of which was taken on the day of their wedding and the other more recently. This particular hashtag decay challenge is a little late, but Marilee Feebig and I got married 10 years ago. She has been married to me for the past 10 years despite my best attempts. That is not exaggeration. I'm not exaggerating. She had more than enough justifications, justifications, and chances to walk her gorgeous ass out the door. Instead, she displayed an unbelievable amount of grace and tolerance thanks to her inherent black woman superpower.